What's up guys? Welcome back to episode 10 of the free to play level 3 skiller series. Starting out this video with base 60 stats besides rune crafting with 484 total level. This video we're going to be attempting to kill Delrith that way we can green log demon slayer. We only have one step left which is actually fighting the demon. However, since we are free to play, we don't have access to poison weapons or recoils, so we are going to have to hit him for all of his HP, basically tank test. And yeah, I hope that we don't get too much combat XP doing so, but we got to get it done because I am tired of looking at the yellow text here. So yeah, I think we're going to start out this video, maybe training some crafting. I'm not sure if I want to go from 60 to 70 or 60 to 65. Uh, I guess we'll see when the time comes. By the way, as you guys can see, I'm wearing a Santa's mask right now. You might be wondering why. And the reason is... Okay, so I just did the math and we are going to be making ruby necklaces because smithing last video demolished our cash stack. According to the current prices, every single ruby necklace that I make is going to make me 208 GP, which means that I'll be making about 2.9k GP per inventory. It's not a lot, but it's also not too bad because it's pretty decent crafting XP as well. And it's pretty AFK, so I could be doing something on the side while I smelt. And spending our entire cash stack besides 592 GP, we will now be able to make 1,153 ruby necklaces. Just finished up the 1,153 ruby necklaces. Once again, I've only been walking to and from the bank. Crafting these got us almost up to 63 crafting. We're also getting 75,000 XP an hour on average. Now let's go get these sold and see how much profit we made. Okay, everything sold for 1.2 mil which means we made 235,000 GP profit. And now let's go invest all this money back into more materials for ruby necklaces. Decided to switch up my outfit a little bit. Normally I would want to go with the gnome goggles for this outfit, but it is a member's item. So instead, this is what I opted for. I actually really like it. And I think this might be the outfit moving forward until I get bored of it, of course, and decide something new. But yeah, I actually kind of like it. And if you want to copy my outfit here, these are all of the items I'm using. Here comes level 65 crafting. We remember we can now make hunter pouches, and I think those are new from Varlamore, which just came out a couple days ago, mainly because I haven't heard of them before, and I'm not exactly sure, but if we remember we can do that. We're kind of sneaking up on 500 total level here, and I actually don't mind making these ruby necklaces. It's very chill, it gives fairly good crafting XP, and I'm also making some money at the same time, so I'm probably gonna stick to doing these ruby necklaces until level 70 crafting. That way, I make a little bit more money that I can use for my other stats, because I am gonna have to save up a lot for smithing. We burned through a ton of money going from level 50 to 60 smithing. I can only imagine what it's gonna be to go from 60 to 70, so we need as much money as we can get. All right, I just sold my 1500 ruby necklaces for 1.77 mil. As you guys can see down here in the chat box, I bought all the supplies for just over 1.2 mil, made the necklaces and sold them all for 1.77 mil, which means that we made 537k profit. So not only do I have 473k crafting XP now, level 65, but I also made over 500k. And that, my friends, is why we are making ruby necklaces. Now I'm going to put all of this 1.7 mil back in to more materials to make even more ruby necklaces. All right, just finished these 2,250 ruby necklaces. It's been a few days since I bought the materials to make these, so hopefully the prices didn't change too much and I'm still able to get a pretty decent return. There's nothing worse in RuneScape than buying investment materials, and by the time you finish them, the profit margin is gone and you actually lose money. Oh, I forgot to show. We're also at level 68 crafting now. We're only 26k until level 69. The last time I sold ruby necklaces, I sold them for 1,180 each. Let's see how much they're worth now. Okay, so apparently they're only going for 1,080. All right, it's officially been overnight. Let's see if these sold. And they all sold for 1,079 each. So we've made roughly 630k. Very happy about that. And according to the skill calculator, we only need to make 1,280 more ruby necklaces in order to get to level 70 crafting. And that is exactly what we're about to do. The offer is now in, just gotta wait for the rubies. But as soon as they buy, I'm gonna get back to crafting. So I will see you guys at level 70 crafting. Welcome to McDonald's, can I take your order? Can I get a number 69? <laughs> and here we go, level 70 crafting. We can now craft diamond amulets. I don't think they make any money though. 
And we now have our very first level 70 stat. I really don't mind making these ruby necklaces, especially because I'm making money. And I do want to train up higher to maybe like level 75 crafting, but I'm not going to do that right now. Instead, we are going to go kill Delrith, or at least attempt to kill Delrith. Okay, so this is going to be the outfit that we fight Delrith in. I'm bringing a strength potion. I don't think it's going to help, but I'm not too sure, so I figured I might as well bring one. I think the hardest part of this quest isn't actually going to be killing Delrith. I think it's going to be trying to attack Delrith before getting basically attacked by the Dark Wizards first. Because it's on a multi-combat zone, I can only attack one thing at a time. So it's going to be a little tricky trying to not get hit by the Dark Wizards. And oh my god, there are a lot of them. So I think maybe we can just run in and the cutscene will start. But I'm not sure. But let's see. I'm getting attacked but i'm good okay so they can't attack you during the cutscene that's good to know so once this cutscene's over i think i'm going to try to hide behind one of these wall things and then maybe wait for delrith to kind of wander by not sure if he will because i haven't done this quest in like forever but i guess we will see hopefully this isn't too bad okay so let's hide here a wizard is trying to attack me i'm not sure what to do maybe we can try to bring him behind the wall on my side and then we'll switch Oh, I guess not. So that ends the instant. And okay, so every time I leave and come back, it resets the instant. That's very good to know. I guess if these wizards keep attacking me before I can fight Delrith, I'll just leave and come back over and over again. All right, attempt number one. Okay, I hit him. And all right, very close. Let's reset it. Try again. Attack. Come on, come on. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm already one cake down now. All right, the wizard's not looking. Let's go. Oh, so close. Are you kidding me? I hit a two as well. Oh, man. Maybe we could try moving over here. All right, so we have to wait until this guy moves and Delrith wanders closer. That's the only chance I can imagine happening. Many hours later. Okay, go, 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 go. Please, please. Yes. Okay, great. Finally. And we're down two and a third cakes, so that's not the best, but we are finally fighting Delrith. Don't know how high he can hit, but I guess we will see. I know I could hit twos, so technically if I hit max hit every time, I only have to hit him four times. But something's telling me that's not going to happen the way I want it to. Now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have brought some armor and an amulet of power. But I guess it's too late now. Hopefully we're able to kill him pretty quickly. He does keep hitting threes though, making it very difficult. Come on, he only has three health left. Come on, please. I don't want to get too much attack XP here. We're already at 16. Now he has four health, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm so thrilled about that. And now he's at five health. Back down to three health. Very nice. And now we're back up to four health. Come on, please. I'm begging you. All right, down to two health. He could be possibly one hit away. And there we go. There we go. And the last incantation here. And Delrith is sucked back into the vortex. All right, not bad. Let's get out of here before we die from a dark wizard. We ended up getting 28 attack XP. We started this quest with zero attack XP. I'm not too thrilled about that. However, since we are just a free to play skiller and I don't have to worry about getting combat XP through members quests, I'm pretty sure Demon Slayer is the only free to play quest that I have to kill something where I can get combat XP. So yeah, I guess I don't ever have to worry about it ever again. And we have now finally green logged Demon Slayer. It's been a long time coming. Not sure what I'm going to go do now. I was thinking maybe I can go runecrafting again. I'm kind of in the mood, but not too in the mood. But who is ever in the mood to do runecrafting? I'm either going to do that or I'm going to do some more crafting. But we've done a lot of crafting this video. So I'm thinking we can maybe do some runecrafting. Okay, so believe it or not, I'm actually on five alt accounts right now. When I was runecrafting before, I was doing it with three alts and I was getting 19,000 XP an hour. I figured if I'm able to sign in on two more accounts, I'd be able to make that XP an hour go up to like 30 to 35k XP an hour. But apparently all of the extra time that it takes to bank and trade cuts down more than I expected on that number. So unfortunately, we're getting between 22 and 23,000 XP an hour, which is only about 4,000 more XP. Than I was getting with just three accounts. So I'm not really sure if it's worth the extra hassle to have these extra two accounts logged in because it does add a ton of extra clicking. And after a while, it gets really, really tedious and really, really annoying. But on the flip side, I'm still getting around 22 to 23,000 XP an hour. And if I was regularly runecrafting on one account, just crafting the runes, running to the bank, grabbing more essence and repeating, 
that's only 7,000 XP an hour in free to play. So I'm still getting over three times the amount of XP per hour that I should be on just one account. But let me tell you, it is so draining. I don't even know how to put it in words. It's just literally exhausting. But hey, it is what it is. What are you going to do? But if you guys haven't seen my previous runecrafting video, what I'm doing right now is I have five accounts logged in and I have this very optimized where whenever we get to the bank, I open the bank on my main account, deposit the runes I made, withdraw more pure essence and then close the bank. And then as soon as I do that on all of my alts, I bank each one individually and then I withdraw the runes, close the bank interface and then follow my account. And then I click on the next client, withdraw the essence, close the bank, follow my account. And I do that for all of my accounts. And then once all my alts are following, I can then zoom out and click on the altar. Once we get to the altar, I can just trade my accounts over the pure essence. And as soon as I trade it over, I click on the portal. And then on my main, I click on the altar, make the runes, and I just work my way down the accounts. One of the tricks that I do to save some time is once I'm done crafting the runes and I exit the altar, on each one of my accounts, I trade my main and then follow them. So I trade, follow, trade, follow, trade, follow for five accounts. And then on my main account, I start walking back to the bank. The reason I trade here is because I'm already right clicking my account. So I might as well hit the trade button. That way I get the trade notifications in my chat box. So whenever I come back to the altar with rune essence, I could just trade my alt accounts in one go. I don't have to go on my alt account to accept the trades. So it's a lot faster. I could just instantly trade. So yeah, this is basically what I've been doing. I get just over 1000 XP and in inventory with all of these accounts logged in. So it's not that bad, but as I said, it is extremely tedious and very, very draining. But anyway, here comes level 45 runecrafting. Of course, there's no unlock for that, but we are also at 499 total level. But since this is a free account, I actually have to count my total levels as the free total levels. You can see your free total level if you just go to free to play world and then hover over the total level. But the reason the free to play total level is lower is because the regular total level counts all of the member stats that are level one and the free total level doesn't count them whatsoever. It's like they don't exist. So technically for me to have 500 total level in the free to play worlds, and go up a rank in the clan chat for having 500 total level, I still need another nine more total levels. So if you guys were wondering how that works, that is how it works. But anyway, I guess I gotta get back on the grind and get back to runecrafting. No, I don't know why I did that, but I clicked through the first part of getting level 50 runecrafting. I literally opened OBS and before I hit record, I clicked on the chat box and then I hit record. I don't know what I was thinking, but regardless, we got 50 runecrafting. All of the materials that I purchased went through this morning, and I just spent just around four hours making all of these ruby necklaces. But let's go sell these at the Grand Exchange, see how much money we made, and then we'll wrap this video up. And everything just sold for almost 3.7 mil, which means that we made 911,000 GP off of those ruby necklaces. It also got us up to level 73 crafting, which got us up to a free total level of 499. Only one more level until we get to go up a rank in the clan chat. But yeah, that's where I'm actually going to end today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a like below. And if you want to keep up with the series and see the next episode when it comes out, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. But anyway, with all that being said, I hope that you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.